But did you know John Heald also always has a lot of action going on in his pen? Wait, what did they say to John Heald? They'll maybe come over there and fight you. I'll fight you. I was a little early on that one. I, I, <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't even know why. We were, this, was, this is just something that John posted. This wasn't even something. Oh that well. <laughs> well, what did they say to? Or what did John say to John Hill? Well, we can go to. Well, we can we can go ahead and we, we'll cover that. I don't. I wasn't really planning on covering this one, but no, no. Cover what you were going to cover. Well, I was going to talk about Celebration Key, but yeah, I think well, before we do we that, we also want to talk about the person who g- griped out John because they had their plastic bottles taken. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I'm sure one of you have that pulled up since y'all are amazing and fantastic and you prepped for this just like I did. Try I've to think got of, it. Is it. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> me, 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 me. <laughs> Does Carnival not care about passengers who've recently had bariatric surgery? Do you care, John Heald? No, you do not. I am on the Paradise and then gives their cabin number for some strange reason. Uh, supplement daily with pre made bottles of Premier Protein Shakes, not a show sponsor just yet, <laughs> but we're open. These were taken from me by a rude carnival employee. (gasps) Why am I a criminal and other passengers can bring on whatever they want that is illegal? Shaking my head. You need to make this right. One day you will for sure. See, I'm not going to. I'm not going to finish that. That's mean spirited. (gasps) But it was a it was a body shaming comment, <sighs> How which I will they? not stand for. Well, well, see, I need to Google that. I know John Googled it, and he re- he refused to reply to it. So I, you know, I'm not sure what that is, but I'm gonna have to Google it just to see because. Oh, it uh, VSG is that what you're talking about? Yeah, a uh, very sexy guy. So. Um... <laughs> So <laughs> that's that's I don't know I don't know I, I'm guessing that's it's a wild one. Um, one day one day you're gonna need a vs very sexy guy John Heald. Yeah, yeah we all do. <laughs> At one point. So, anyways, well, you know, this is kind of a bizarre one because who gets like has surgery in jumps on a cruise that's going to need like dietary like restrictions. Cause I know that stuff is pretty, pretty like. Uh, well, I, it is. However, I will say that I went in and read the po- comments and there's a lot of people even months later who still have to have those dietary shakes and they just carry the boxes, the ones that are in the box or they carry a protein powder with them. Yeah, And not the plastic bottles like this young lady or older lady or whatever lady it was. I'm pretty sure it was a lady because in John's replies, he said, oh, come on. Are you serious? That As he said that? Reply. Wow. He said, come on. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> that was his actual reply. <laughs> there we go. Sorry was luther i as i as i explained earlier to a lady currently oh no that's the cookie thing never mind i sincerely hope that you'll reconsider oh no that's still the cookie thing we did not continue the comp we did not continue the screenshots in our message that talked about john's reply to that so disregard all of that just edit all that out there mr kennedy thank you yes sir So I'm wondering if this is a case of someone just didn't do their research and didn't take into account like there's certain things you can't bring and you can't bring plastic bottles. So if you need your protein, bring a powder, bring it in the cartons. Yeah. Oh, well, I, Let I, me I ask this, know. though. Uh, oh, go ahead, Trevor. Well, go ahead. Say, I'm sorry. 
is is the ship water not good enough for for making these protein shakes? I mean, do you need special bottled water for that? No, you don't. But these are protein. These are pre-made protein shakes. Okay. So, but here's my other thing. Protein powder comes in a plastic tub. So how are you allowed to bring on plastic powder in a plastic t- or pro- protein powder in a plastic tub, but not allowed to bring on protein shakes that come in plastic bottles? Well, if I'm just to take a shot in the dark on this, you're probably taking it off the ship with you versus the plastic bottles <clears throat> that just become garbage on the ship. Possibly, but... Yeah, I don't know. But John's reply is, thank you so much for writing. And of course, I understand your concerns. I feel your frustration. I know the crew are doing their very best for you. And I have asked my colleagues there to check in with you. The employee was, I'm sure, not rude. It was a port security staff member that would have taken those bottles from you. And or, But I do know sometimes when someone says no, and something is taken from you, it can appear that they're being rude. Anyway, as far as protein shakes are concerned, let me clarify the following. You can bring protein shakes in cartons or in powder form. You cannot bring them in bottles unless you get a medical exemption. So for more details, write to my colleagues at the email provided. And then he talked about where he asked Google about what a VSG was. So That's a good that's a good point. And that I like how he took the high road there. That's a good point. When you have these kind of things going on, you need to let Carnival know before you go on the cruise because yeah. they have staff that take care of these very things. Mm-hmm. So they make your transition getting on and off the ship and all those things a lot easier when they know you're coming with these things. So if you let them know you had plastic bottles that you needed to bring, they could have probably accommodated that beforehand. So that that's, I feel like this is, I feel like the poster is the snooty snoot in this case. <laughs> there, so. there, there's definitely a snooty <laughs> snoot in this one. So I was, I'm looking for it because I do know there was, I mean, if you go to the comments and you read through the comments, the comments are just full of people who like this one, for instance, I took my protein shakes, no issues. I sailed two months after surgery. Mine were in bottles because I contacted the special needs department and asked. I received a medical exemption letter and off I went. People amaze me with the blame culture. Just because you didn't plan correctly, give me a break. The rules clearly state what is allowed. Next time, get a medical exemption later. And that was Beth Ludwig. That was her comment. And that received 519 likes. So somebody really, I mean, she really, she really hit the nail on the head with that one. Um, but there were even there was uh, several people in here that talked about they did the same thing. They got the medical medical exemption. One of the people even said they got a medical exemption because they were over their drink limit. And so with the medical exemption, they could bring more. <laughs> That's something you want to really kind of, you know, <laughs> come out, you know, come out with on Facebook on John's page. But hey, you can use the medical exemption to your advantage, it appears. <laughs> But I mean, you know, and there was this amazing person that her name is Teresa Hobbs Manning, and she has a comment on here. It says, read the website, people. It clearly states no bottles. If you're unsure about something before sailing, contact Carnival and they will help you. Your lack of planning is not John's fault. And the fact that people feel so comfortably comfortable personally attacking him about his weight is so disgusting. Absolutely. Yep. That is a smart, smart woman. So, I agree. There you go. <laughs> Very smart. Yes. <laughs> well, 